Hey everyone, welcome back to DGR Unicast. In this video, we're gonna compare a Wi-Fi 7 access point only using the 2.4 gigahertz band, and we're gonna compare two Wi-Fi 6 devices and a Wi-Fi 7 device. So first off, I'm testing out the iPhone 11 Pro, which is a Wi-Fi 6 device with the Wi-Fi 7 access point. Now, as you can see, we got 111 megabits per second down and 124 megabits per second up. Now, when I did this same test over the local network, the results were somewhat similar. It was lowered a little bit, but I will say the 2.4 gigahertz band, especially since I'm in an apartment, is very crowded. There's so many devices that are using this band. Bluetooth devices use it. Other Wi-Fi access points all over the apartment complex are using it, and there's plenty of other devices that are also using this band. And I kept the auto setting for channel allotment with this access point so it could decide based on current conditions what the best band would be in the moment. Okay, so now I am testing out the iPhone 16 Pro, which is a Wi-Fi 7 device with this Wi-Fi 7 access point. Again, only 2.4 gigahertz band, but this is where things get interesting. So as you can see, I got 119 megabits per second down and 116 megabits per second up. If you notice, the download is eight megabits per second more than the iPhone 11 Pro, and the upload is eight megabits per second less than the iPhone 11 Pro. You would think that with the upgraded Wi-Fi 7 spec, there would be a difference. Now, doing a speed test on the local network with the iPhone 16 Pro, the download was the exact same, but the upload was down a few megabits per second. So as you can see, the results are pretty similar. The next test that I'm doing is with my M2 MacBook Air, which is a Wi-Fi 6 device. All right, I'm gonna try it again, this time with the same speed test server as the test on the iPhone 16 Pro. And as you can see, the results are better than the iPhone 16 Pro. And yet this is a Wi-Fi 6 device and the iPhone 16 Pro is a Wi-Fi 7. So I just wanna reiterate that the Wi-Fi spec isn't everything. The antenna array in this Mac is a really good antenna array and it is outperforming even the Wi-Fi 7 flagship Apple iPhone just because literally with physics, it is able to get a higher signal to interference noise ratio compared to the other devices that have worse antenna arrays. These phones can only fit so many antennas in them and it can only be so good, whereas this Mac has a better setup. Okay, so what is this telling me? This is telling me that pretty much in my apartment, which has a ton of co-channel interference, that both the Wi-Fi 7 and the Wi-Fi 6 devices are maxing out at the 1024 QAM constellation. And if my Wi-Fi 7 compatible iPhone 16 Pro is actually using 4096 QAM, then it's sending it at a very low code rate. So potentially the code rates could increase with an error Area without a lot of co-channel interference, which is essentially what was happening with the Mac having a better antenna array. It was increasing the code rate for the 1024 QAM constellation. So it would be interesting to redo this test in an area that does not have as much co-channel interference because in that scenario, I may be able to lock on to the 4096 QAM constellation with the iPhone 16 Pro, and there may be an actual significant difference in speeds. So that'll be a very interesting test for another video. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.